River Valley kids. We are so excited to see you again today. And today we're gonna learn about another fruit of the Spirit. It has been so much fun learning about the fruits of the Spirit so far. Today the fruit of the Spirit that we're learning about is called goodness. You know, sometimes we might not think of goodness the right way or the way that God is talking about goodness. For example, maybe you went to school a day this last week and after school you get in the car and your mom says, how was school today? And your answer was, good. Do you think that's what God's talking about when he says one of the fruits of the spirit is goodness? I don't think so either. I think it's different. So let's learn about that today together. All right, the first part of us learning about God's goodness is let's vote on what we think is good in life and what we think maybe isn't so good in life. I have some pictures to help us. So if you think it's good, I'm gonna have you give me a thumbs up. And if you don't think it's good, give me a thumbs down, all right? Okay, here's our first picture. It's pizza! Do you think that pizza is good? Or do you think pizza is not so good? I can't hear you. Oh, you think it's good? I think most of you thought it was good. All right, let's see what else we have here. What is this representing? Video games. Do you think video games are good or not so good? What do you think? Ah, oh, I think a lot of you think they're good. All right, let's look at the next one. How about broccoli? Do you think broccoli is good or not so good? What do you think? <laughs> All right, and how about cookies? I think cookies are good. How about you? Do you guys think cookies are good or not so good? What do you think? These look like chocolate chip ones, which I love chocolate chip cookies. All right, let's see what the next picture is. Oh, it's a little puppy. Do you guys think that puppies are good or not so good? Do you like having a puppy around? Or do you not really like having a puppy around? And then how about tests? When you go to school and your teacher says, it's test time. Do you think that's good and you're excited or not so good? What do you think? All right. So we went through some pictures together and decided what we think is good or bad. There are some of these answers that we probably all agreed on and some of them we probably didn't all agree on. So what do we mean when we talk about goodness? First of all, since goodness is a fruit of the spirit, that means that our goodness comes from God. Did you guess that? I bet you did. Our goodness that we have is all from God. God brings that into our life. That's what it means that it's a fruit of the Spirit in our lives. And it's not about just how delicious or good pizza is, it's how we, or how we feel like we did on a test, but it's remembering that God's goodness is a part of our lives. So let's learn more about that and how God's goodness shows in our lives. Are you ready? I'm gonna go grab a couple supplies and I'll be right back. All right, let's keep talking about the goodness of God. You know, the goodness of God is purity of heart. It's not just about doing good things. It's a character trait that results in good things in our lives. God's goodness is like this. I grabbed some extra supplies to help me with this part, to show you what God's goodness is like. So let's see what we have over here. I brought a backpack for us to put everything in. So first I have a blanket. Do you like blankets? I sure like cozy blankets. What are blankets really great at? They're really great at making us feel comfortable, aren't they? And that's what God's goodness is like. It's comfort for us. We love to feel comfortable and God's goodness brings comfort into our lives like a blanket. So I'm gonna add this blanket to our backpack. Okay, are you guys ready for the next thing? What else do I have over here? All right, oh, I have some ointment. Have any of you guys ever gotten a cut or a scrape on your arm or your leg? 
and you ran in and you told mom all about it and maybe your mom used some ointment to put on your cut or scrape. And what does this ointment do for your cut or your scrape? When you get hurt, the ointment helps to heal it. It's a special medicine that helps your cut and scrape heal and get better faster. And God's goodness is like this ointment. It helps us heal in our lives. So we're gonna add this to our backpack. What else do I have over here? Ooh, I have a, I, a Band-Aid, I think. Let's see. Oh, yep, here we go. All right, what are Band-Aids good for? Well, we use Band-Aids on that cut or our scrape. And what does that Band-Aid do? It doesn't help us heal like the ointment, but it helps protect our wound. So our cut and our scrape don't get dirty, it doesn't get torn up, or it gets even worse, the Band-Aid helps protect us when we get hurt. And God's goodness is like a Band-Aid that protects us. So we're gonna add this to our backpack as well. All right, what else do I have over here? Okay, ooh, I have another kind of Band-Aid. This one's a little bit stretchy and super long. Maybe you've seen this on a friend before. Maybe you've had this type of bandage on you before. Most of the time, this type of bandage is wrapped around our hands, our wrists, maybe your ankle or a knee. Um, and these types of bandages, they help protect like the other types of bandages. But today we're remembering that God's goodness is wrapped around us like a bandage like this that God's goodness is all around us all the time, helping to protect us and to heal us. And so we're gonna add this bandage to our backpack as well. Okay, let's see. Ooh, look what else I found. A picture of a donkey. I wanted to have a real donkey, but they're just too big for my house. <laughs> so what do donkeys do for us? Well, now most of the time we travel in cars and we can load up our car with lots of stuff. But a long time ago, they didn't have cars and they would use donkeys. So if they were traveling, if people were traveling to faraway places and they had big boxes or bags and they needed to travel with them to a long place away, they would load it up on the donkey's back and the, the donkey would carry those heavy items for them. The donkey would carry their burdens and the things that were really heavy. And that reminds us of God's goodness. It helps carry our burdens and things that are really heavy for us in life. That's what, how awesome God's goodness is. So we're gonna add this donkey to the backpack as well of all of our supplies here of what is reminding us of God's goodness. And last but not least, I have some money over here, some coins. Do you see these coins over here? Yeah, so what does money do for us? Well, you know, money buys us food and it buys us shelter and a place to live and be safe. And so these coins remind us about God's goodness because God provides for us. And these coins remind us that God is our provider. And so we're gonna add these coins to the backpack to remind us that God provides for us. All right, guys, our backpack is nice and full, and it reminds us that God's goodness is way bigger than we usually think of the word good. It's not just about good pizza or good ice cream, but it's full and it's wonderful. It reminds us that God's goodness brings comfort and protection and it provides for us in life. So let's see how God's goodness comes out through our lives because goodness is the fruit of the spirit. And I'm gonna do that with you guys next by sharing with you a story from the Bible. So get ready, you're gonna see our backpack in action in our Bible story next. I'm not helping you. I'm not breaking the rules, bro. Sir, are you okay? Do you have a blanket for comfort? Exactly. And a 
Let's see if I have some other stuff in here. Uh, here's a band-aid to protect. Okay. Here's a big band-aid to help wrap around you. Um, here's some ointment that protects your wounds. It heals them. It heals your wounds. Um, I am going to go find a donkey for you so that um, we can get you places and help you. Yeah, here's some coins so you can go buy things that you need. I'll be back. All right, what did you guys think about our story today? Wasn't that a good story? You know, some of those guys were really worried about following the rules of the time and they didn't think they should help that person. But the truth of the matter is that God's goodness living in our lives led us to help people, all people. We should reach out and show God's goodness to others, just like God shows his goodness to us. You know, maybe you don't think that you're a good person, and that's okay. Because if you love God, then the fruits of the Spirit live in you. And that means God's goodness lives in you and that you do have goodness in you. That God's goodness is shines through your life and He has given you a backpack, like we learned in our story today, full of things and ways to show God's goodness to others. You can help people know that they're protected and that God's goodness helps heal them and God's goodness provides for them through your lives, just like he has shown to you. You know, none of us are good on our own. None of us, not one person. But when we love and trust God, then his goodness is in our lives and we can show that to others. You guys have a really great week. Spend some time talking with your family about this and how you can show God's goodness to others. And we will see you next Sunday online.